So Broadway debut and yeah. a Tony nomination for it. You've been welcomed by this community. I, well, so gracious of them, and I am pleased and honored to be part of this phenomenal tradition. And also in a role that hasn't been Tony nominated before. I no, is that true? I didn't know that. That's right. I mean, we, this is How to Succeed in Business, Pulitzer Prize winner. Yes. One of the few musicals to do it. Now, the lead, Robert Morris wins, Matthew Broderick wins, Daniel Radcliffe not even nominated. That's what everyone was talking about yesterday. I mean, what was the mood like in the theater last night? To it was great. I mean, uh, you know, none of us, you know, and, and I really do mean this. I, at least I can speak for myself and I can speak for Daniel. None of us do what we do for this. Right for this if we can't because then you would just drive yourself absolutely insane every day um, it is a pleasure to be on stage with him he carries the water in this production I would not be doing this role if it wasn't for Daniel because I know I'm smart enough to know that Daniel Radcliffe had cast approval in this I've never talked to him about that but I know how could he not so he said yes to John LaRocquette coming to do this with him and it is an, a, an utter pleasure being on stage with him every night now, you say you don't do it for the awards, but you've got quite the collection of awards. I mean, four in a row at the Emmys for Night Court, mm. just one away from Don Knotts' record of five for uh, Andy Griffith's show. Um, and then you win Guest a Drama Actor for The Practice. Yes. I mean, that, when, you, when you sort of take a role like The Practice, I mean, was that a conscious, like, oh, I'm going to show them I can actually do things other than the comedy, other than... No, I mean, you don't usually have that kind of control in your career. I mean, after Night Court and... Uh, when I, you and know, then the John Larroquette show, which which won Betty White an Emmy. That's right. For her brilliant Betty White, her close-up episode. Where that's she, that's uh, great. Betty yes. White playing a version of Betty White that we hope isn't true. Yes, yeah, so that was a great episode. Yeah. She was very, she was fun to work with. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, after the four Emmys for Night Court, I I asked not to be nominated again because I thought you know the character is so indelible that it was going to be a while before I could sort of erase him from my resume, kind of, or not erase, but at least move it down so toward the bottom. You took yourself out of the running. It's yes, I did. For an actor to do. But as far as the other is concerned, I mean, you don't have that much control of your career. David Kelly called and said, I've written a character. I'd like you to play him. So I just said yes. I mean, I didn't even ask what it was because it was David Kelly. Um, and it turned out that the character was bigger than life. It was, a, you know, sort of in my wheelhouse of kind of that sarcastic uh, sicko. Um, and it was recognized uh, in the in the drama category, so I was obviously very pleased. But you don't have that kind of you know mandate in your career to go. I'm going to go now and show them what I can do. You know. So comedy, drama, now musicals. What's your what's your background in musical theater? Um, zero. I mean, I was a musician for most of my youngest yeah. life in New Orleans until I was like 19 years old. Uh -huh. I played uh, reed instruments, saxophone primarily, and. Um, I had never done anything like this before. I just never had never had the call for it. I mean, in 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 Equity Waiver Theater in L.A. in the '70s when I first started, right. we did musicals, yeah. kinda. But they were really plays with some music in them, but never anything like what I'm doing now. So it, I mean, the, it must. You talk to performers. I mean, the that doing those musical numbers. I mean, that must be such a high, such a rush. Oh, it is. It is. And I, yeah. you know, and for the first, the first, uh, you know, three weeks of rehearsal, I concentrated so so diligently on trying to get those right. Uh -huh. I knew the comedy would come. I knew the character would come. So I didn't really think about him very much. I thought about getting the steps right, getting the the counts right, because other people that depended upon you being where you're supposed to be, yeah. otherwise you might hurt them. Uh, and. And it was a, a, a great feeling of elation when the first day that I realized, oh, wait, I did that correctly. Now I can start thinking about the character and thinking about the rest of the play. Right. It's great. Well, it's well, a lot you, of fun. You did something right, obviously. Thank you.